Welcome to the XR Pistol build video. Today I'm going to run you through after you've 3D printed all of your parts, you've got your metal hardware, how to assemble and test the fire control group. So this is the process that we go through for everyone that we build, for those of you that don't have printers and are interested in buying one from us. So I'm going to start by getting the trigger bar installed. So I'm going to go ahead here and I'll get my 60 millimeter screw. This one's two th thirds of the way smooth. I'm going to drop it through this hole in the middle and I'm going to get the little trigger lock that goes right here. I will get my extremely long Allen wrench, run this through into the hole there, and I'm going to push with some force because I want this to start threading through that hole that's in there. So now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and I will install the trigger. So I'm going to feed this through here and I'm going to grab my flathead 15 millimeter. So you can see there's the 15. And so right in through here, if I turn to the back side, should be able to see that hole to line this up right in there and then I can push this through. Depending on the tolerance of your printer, you may have to end up screwing that in the whole way. I've just got it set so that right at the end there, that last little side here with the tolerances that I'm running are needed. And so you'll see there's no gap thread in here and when I put tension on this, there's no movement. So this set trigger it's a little bit ahead right up there so now that I have that I'm going to get my controller holder module ready I'm going to get my 0.6 spring because there's the 0.6 and the 2.8s and I'm going to put that in and then I'll put my next piece right in here on top there's a little inset in there that that spring sits into and then once I have this I'll take that right in there I'm going to get one of my M3 nuts, and I'm going to get one of my smooth shafts here. This one, just like the other four, this is one of the 30s. I'm going to put the nut on the end of this so that I can insert this into the bottom here. Where that goes, unscrew that in here so it stays. Next, I need the hold block up here. So I will get another one of my... 30 millimeters. Get a little nut on here, and I'm going to set this screw right into the bottom there. I'll then see how there's that little lip. Little lip goes in and under there. Then this screw goes here. There we go. Now with that, the controller can make sure this locks in. And what we're looking for right here is you want the tiniest bit of play so that you have your movement right there. And so the reason that isn't coming all the way back here, we haven't put in our 0.8 spring. So our 0.8 spring is going to be here. And if you wanted to have a super light trigger pull, you could put a 0.6 there. But in order for this to feel more realistic. We want to have our 0.8 there. So here we've got our pull on there. So I can get this controller out of the way and we can go and put our next part on. So I'm going to go ahead and do the magazine release here. So before I put that on, I'm going to go ahead here and I will get my 50 millimeter right there. I'm going to make sure this moves smoothly through here. I'm just going to run this along here a little bit of tension on that in all directions because the enemy of this whole process is friction and we want to do whatever we can to reduce that so I grab another 30 millimeter I can feel that sat right in there where it's supposed to be I want this tightened to the point where I don't feel any additional friction from how tight it is I'll grab my other 0.8 spring this runs in here there we go. That feels good. I'm gonna see. Here's the good tightness. And so now I'm gonna do the other side of this. So I'm gonna put my magazine removal block right there. 
And I'm going to grab my itty bitty here that I forgot to check the size on earlier. So this was a 20. M2 by 20. Everything else has been M3 up to this point. I will grab my 20 millimeter. I can tell because it's supposed to not come out the other side. And I want this same thing right to the point where I don't feel any friction. So there we go. That is not binding. And now that is in. Oh, I guess I had two of these sitting on the table. Oops. This I'll take right up here. So the angled side goes over on this arm. Same thing, just to the point where there's no friction. So before I throw the slide on here, I want to put this in and make sure that I'm not seeing friction anywhere that needs taken care of. There we go. And now, every single time, our magazine state is properly being tracked. So I can push up. And every single time this moves just like it should so that is what we we're going for so now that we have that time for a slide so in here I ended up running my 20 millimeter through there and with that this screw is going to go under to that other side here so I'll grab a 25 this not right in there. This will go through here. You want to blue Loctite both of those as well, most likely. Okay, so throw this in and that's up. We rack our slide and that gets pressed. Pull our trigger and that gets pressed. Okay, so everything is nice and smooth here. Here's all three of those, so on to our weapon light now. So I'll get the rod. You want to make sure there's no friction along the side there too. Grab a 30, that runs through here into the hole that's in that. When we test weapon light, that moves trigger, slide rack, and magazine state. So here we have all four of our functions that are functioning here, smooth every time. If anything doesn't pass a function test there, it's because of friction. If you have extra friction involved in this part of the process, this spring here won't be strong enough to push back to push back push back and to reset this. The slide here should have movement so that there's both pre-travel and the press. So just like the tension that you have on a normal slide when it's in slide lock, we want to replicate that here. You already saw the troubleshooting process for the magazine where if that screw that goes this way binds up down at the bottom over there, then that's the problem you have for that. For the trigger, straight through over along up here so um, once this wears in some the trigger usually will operate without having any type of spring here but for realism we want additional weight on our trigger here otherwise there's nothing that we have to overcome with our grip to be able to build muscle memory and then if there's anything that binds in here that would be probably too tight here because this tightens up against there and so you saw that in the video as well so there all four of our functions are tested our weapon training weapon is assembled and I hope you enjoyed the video let's show a little bit of gameplay as to why you might want to do this now